Today I want to tell you about research with the classic psychedelic psilocybin. Psychedelic mushrooms, along with talk therapy, can be used to treat depression. You will be able to legally get a, a guided psychedelic psilocybin magic mushroom trip in, in the state of Oregon. Research in Canada today. Numinous, a state-of-the-art lab in Nanaimo, BC, is growing millions of the rock star of psychedelic mushrooms. Magic mushrooms and mushrooms in particular. Psilocybin. Mushroom. Magic mushrooms. And magic magic mushrooms. Mushrooms. Psilocybin. mushrooms. We need more people not to take psilocybin for early childhood trauma, for uh, sexual trauma, for some type of psychological problem, but as a tool of exploration to explore the multiverse, to go deep, to go hard, to go full blast into the novel states of consciousness that we look at. Feeling good today. Um... Matthew Johnson, aka Mushroom Matt, is a self proclaimed psychonaut. I have not trained but as hard as I would have liked to. An explorer of psychedelic realms. Although this territory is uncharted and deemed risky by many, Matt has dedicated himself to collecting data on the effects of large quantities of mushrooms during and after his trips. He publicizes his findings via Instagram Live video. If it's the will of the universe for me to learn whatever I'm going to learn through this and not be at the most tip-top shape, then it is what it is, you know? Once again, we're kind of just going to this blindfolded. For the past seven years, Matt has been taking psychedelic mushrooms that he grows in his own house and sells for a living. So a microdose is like 0 0.1 to 0 0.2. 0.4, anything between 0 0.5 and like 1.5 would be that middle dose. Anything over two grams would be considered a macro dose. There's no way you're not gonna feel that. I would say there's levels, obviously, of macro dosing. That's the bottom level. Every level entails a completely different thing from an eighth where it's still functional, you can still go out to an event. Some people can still go out to an event. Seven grams, that's where it gets kind of immobilizing. You probably don't wanna be out in public at that point. A quarter is where uh, I would consider the, the real healing starts, where you can really look deep inside yourself. Honestly, I wasn't a great person before shrooms. I, was, I wasn't very mindful. Uh, I didn't really have any drive or motivation to my life. I was just kind of living. I lived in the hood um, and I just really didn't have any goals or aspirations. You know, I was just living day to day, skateboarding, playing video games, smoking a lot of weed. After doing mushrooms, it kind of opened my mind to the bigger picture. Relying on his years of tripping, Matt has decided to take a bold step. He's going to ingest more psilocybin than any human being on record. A god dose. Past 10 grams, you're getting into like god dose levels when you're getting like 15, 20. I started the journey of even considering doing 120 grams in November of 2021. I call a buddy over. I'm like, hey, you wanna do like a, a god dose of mushrooms? We did a smoothie and uh, we did our 20 grams all in the smoothie. We drank it. It's one of our most life-changing moments of both of our lives. How open we could be with each other, the ideas we were getting. I can't explain what was happening, but it was an incredible journey. That was my first introduction to like a god dose. Before I did the 20 grams with my friend, the most I've ever done was seven grams. You know, I had the same stigma of most people of I would lose my mind. I did 30 grams the following week by myself just to see what it, what's the difference between doing it with someone, you know, dealing with their energy and exchanging energy opposed to just dealing with my own energy. It was more personal, more emotional, more intimate. I cried multiple times. In retrospect, you know, I was just more in my head. You know, I didn't have any other distractions. I didn't have any other energies, you know, telling me everything's gonna be okay. Man, this is such a great time. Like I had to tell myself that. 
outside of even psychedelics. A lot of people have trouble being alone. After I did the 30 grams by myself and got over that personal hurdle, I decided that I was going to do 120 grams and do intervals of 10 grams every month for the full year of 2022. They were all single personal doses. I did not dose with anybody else. By increasing his God doses each month by 10 grams, Matt believed he would make history and reach a 120 gram God dose in one year, far exceeding the 60 gram ceiling set by his mentor Kalindi E and surpassing even the highest documented dosages. The first three months, January, February, and March, were pretty easy. When I got to the 30 grams in March, that was the first time I've ever had full-blown, like interdimensional. Interdimensional meaning like not of this dimension. Things that you can't even put in words. The colors don't make sense. A lot of sacred geometry, things that the average person just couldn't comprehend, including myself. That was the first time I've ever, ever seen that. And they only got like more prolific as I got higher and higher. So 50 to 60 gram point on the come up, I would literally just have to like lay down usually have to keep my eyes closed, but either way, open or close, it's just overwhelmed. Like 50 grams is no joke. Whatever the mushrooms wanna show you, it's gonna happen. The 60, 70, 80, that's when things become overwhelming to the point where the mushrooms are almost yelling at you. So 100 grams, that was the first time I honestly felt possessed, where I felt like a different entity come inside me and almost like take over my body, where I'm like looking around in my house and I'm looking at like my computer desk and like I just, can't for the life of me associate the memories to anything on the desk. Everything looks super foreign as if I'm in a complete stranger's house. I feel the presence of this ancient entity. I start doing this weird thing with my arms, like almost similar to like Doctor Strange when he's like opening up the portal and stuff. I guess maybe this entity was able to like do some type of magic or anything, but like my body definitely wasn't <laughs> acclimated to do such a thing. <laughs> like not, not this body, <laughs> but I could like feel a sense of like whatever was in me was just happy to be in a body. He like let me know, I, like it was, this was temporary I'm just passing through the possession, whatever you want to call it, the exorcism. <laughs> uh, that lasted for about 20 minutes and then eventually it just like disappeared. Never felt so inebriated to that sober so quickly. I can't explain it, but a lot of things I can't explain what happened to me. That was the last one. I just told myself like, I don't think I can go any higher. My goal was to do in December 120, but uh, leading up to it, I wasn't taking care of my body. I was drinking. All the training just kind of went out the window. I like didn't run at all. And when the day came, I actually started to prep everything and I just started getting really sick. I actually had to go to the hospital because I was like in such bad shape and like dry heaving and that turned into like blood. So I just, couldn't do it. The one thing I can tell you that I took away from the whole experience is that rather you do an eighth or rather you do a QP, 112 grams, the message that the mushrooms are gonna tell you are gonna be the same thing. It's just how loud they yell at you. And basically that was, you need to get your health in order. Time is of the essence, you're getting old. If you're gonna be around to make any type of dent in this, in this revolution, you need to be in good health to do it. Also, you know, a lot of people are looking at you and the mushrooms are telling me this. A lot of people are looking at you for what you're doing. Do you want them to see results or do you want them to see a person just doing drugs? So it almost like kind of pushed me to start listening, train harder and do everything, everything with a sense of urgency. For the past seven years, Matt has owned and operated a small mushroom business, King Midas Caps a staple in the Detroit mushroom distribution community. After a year of training, Matt had taken an unprecedented god dose of 100 grams of mushrooms. His devotion to his medicine was unwavering, even strengthened. It really opened my horizons to spreading not only this medicine to other people and how it could help people with tra traumatic experiences and understanding other people's perspectives more clearly and not being so self-absorbed just giving it really just ultimately gave me a purpose in life um, from the moment that I took shrooms for the first time you know I knew that you know I, I had to dedicate my life to this